Alright guys, I'm gonna be doing just a quick review uh, slash tutorial on this little guy right here, which is the ELM327. Now this is just basically a uh, small little diagnostic scanner that just reads codes, erase codes, and it does a little bit more. It does give you live data stream, which is pretty great. And basically we're just gonna go over on how to hook it up, how to hook it up to your phone. and go and play around with some of the parameters that are inside of it. So here's the ELM327. We're just going to undo my... Undo that right there. We're going to take them. We're going to plug them into my port. And that's it for that. Now I'm going to be loading up the software. And I'm going to show you guys uh, where you have to go and download the software and which one I found was uh, pretty much the best one out there. So that's what I'm going to do right now. All right, guys. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is come over to the Play Store. And you're going to want to look for uh, this app. Now, this is the best one that I found so far that actually works very well with the e ELM327. And you're going to want to download it. And then you're going to want to open it. Now, after you download it and you open it. As you can see, it says it's not connected. So what we're going to have to do in order to get this to connect, which is just, uh, it's just easier this way. You're going to go to your settings. You're going to go to network and internet. You're going to go mobile network and you're going to turn off your mobile network. Keep your Wi-Fi on or your Bluetooth on, whichever one that, uh, whichever model that you take, because there are, is a Bluetooth model and a Wi-Fi model. This one is the Wi-Fi model, so that's why my Wi-Fi is on. So now, with that done, we're going to come back to the app and we're going to click the red circle up in the corner. When we click the red circle up in the corner, what you're going to do is you can add a profile. So you can take vehicle year. Kia. We want Sorrento. We got the 3-3. And the fuel is petrol, body design, this is the XM model, transmission is automatic, and drive type is two-wheel drive, and we can save it. So that's my preferred vehicle right now. So now we're going to back up, and if you see here, you have connection type. It's either going to be Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. Like I said, the ELM27, ELM27 that I have right now is actually Wi-Fi, so I'm going to keep it on Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi status is enabled, which is good. <clears throat> it gives you an IP address. And then after all that is done, you want to click connect. The selected profile is Kia. Connecting to a car of an error maker making cause a malfunction. Onboard system would like you to connect to the vehicle. Yes. Would you like to connect to the vehicle? Yes. So now it's going to establish the connection. And as you can see, engine management system, okay. Transmission, okay. You can start diagnosis now. Select the control unit. After connecting the control unit, reading of DTC and parameters will be available. So, as you can see, now we have engine, transmission, electronic stability control, and airbag. And that's ABS transmission and airbag guys. That's that's pretty good for a twenty dollar uh, machine. So what we're gonna do now? We're gonna click on. So what we're gonna do now is just click on transmission. Just to see what uh, it gives us. And we're gonna click on this. So see, you have to purchase plugins in order to uh, to get more information on your transmission. I'm guessing it's gonna be the same thing for your electronic stability control. And airbag is going to be the exact same thing. But we should have engine at least. So, But you can see that you can just purchase the extra plugins and you'll be able to actually get into them. So it's a $20 tool plus the amount of the plugins, which I don't know. I didn't go check yet. So we have one DTC. And we have a P0442. And it's not giving me the description, which is okay. That doesn't really matter because you can just go search a... P0442 uh, in, uh, online and it'll give it to you. So don't worry about that. So that's that's pretty pretty good. 
Now, like I said, I'm guessing that this is more generic. So, if I go and I take off the vehicle, we're just gonna try something real quick. If we go and we... If we go into driver assistant, DTC reference, P0, P0, 4, 4, 2, and we click on search, and that's what it's giving you. So you, regardless on if it gives you the meaning, you can just go under DTC reference guide and you guys can find it yourself. And if you click on the data, well, yeah, your data has to be on for that, but it gives you a small indication of what's going on with your vehicle at least. So, at the same time, look, for what it's it's able to do, it's it's pretty good. You know? So we're going to come here. What we are going to do, and we're going to try to do something different. Uh, we are going to take settings. We're just going to go EOBD and we're going to reconnect and we're just going to see what uh, what happens in the EOBD instead of selecting a specific vehicle. That's what I want to see. So now we're just an EOBD, just basically not selecting a specific vehicle. And as you can see, it gives me a DTC right away. And it actually gives me the... The definition of the DTC and it also says that it has a freeze frame so we're gonna click down on freeze frame and this is when, when this code set I've actually had this code on for quite a while but I just didn't feel like fixing it yet I got a head of things that need to be done to the vehicle first so as you can see it gives you quite a bit it gives you your fuel trims now if we come over here, we clicked on that already. Yeah. So now we're gonna come back, 44 parameters. If we click on a list of the parameters, and I think we have to click on read. And when we click on read, it starts to give us all our parameters. Now, from what I can tell, the parameters aren't live. 100% they have to be loaded up so it'll go through all 44 parameters and then it'll restart and then it'll go through them again and then it'll restart so as you can see I was just pressing on the gas there and my parameters changed so that's good so uh, let's go accelerator pedal let's see if we have that uh, no we don't have that oh yes we do Let's see if we can change that. There we go. So our uh, accelerator pedal position changes, which is good. So if we stop, we'll back up real quick. We'll come on grid selections. If I click on. So this one just gives you your uh, grid, uh, grid selection. Should give me my RPMs. Engine RPM 604. So, like I said, it, it's not the fastest, but it does work. So it does give you a list, list of uh, parameters that you can go by. So if you, honestly, for the DIY guy at home, I could see this being very useful because all you need is your phone. And if you take and you purchase the extra apps that are into it while the extra like protocols for your specific vehicle I could say that you could probably do quite a bit with this little tool so but it, it depends on how much they are like I said I, I was gonna go into it but that's not what this is for so you guys can uh, look at that yourselves if you guys decide to purchase this and I'll be putting a link like I, this I think these go for about $16 guys so a $16 code reader that does uh, gives you freeze frames, DTCs, uh, you're able to select different modules if you want to pay for them. And I think it's a pretty good deal, you know, so. It's 
ultimately it's going to be up to you if you want to take and purchase this item and it, it depends on what you want to use it for also just remember like if you're in a professional level i wouldn't say that this would be the best item but if you're a diy guy and you just want to keep your cars maintained by yourself and you don't like it whenever people touch them this tool will more than do the job for you so with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this little video and i will see you guys next time